Hi, this is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary, and this is a daily meditation for real life. In today's gospel, Jesus says, You have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and do good to those who persecute you. So, the question is, who is my enemy? We often ask the question, who's my neighbor? And we know that everyone is our neighbor. So who is our enemy? Who's your enemy? Who's my enemy? Is it the person that uh, is in the cubicle next to us at work that continually taps on the desk and drives me crazy? Or is it the uh, next door neighbor whose dog barks incessantly? Is that your enemy? I would have to say no. Um, we don't consider those people enemies. Um, but I think we do in our country look at some people as enemies. And those are the people who disagree with us, who don't see eye to eye with us. And I think that's a serious problem that we have. But as Christians, something that we can overcome and that we can help uh, be salt and light to the world in this area. Uh, today in the gospel, Jesus not only says that we need to love our enemies, but he also mentions that God the Father uh, lets the sun shine on the good and the bad. He lets the rain fall on the just and the unjust. And we're to be like that. We're to, to love like that without judging people's hearts, without saying, oh, you're, you're pro-choice, I, I can't even talk to you, I can't even look at you. And I think that's what we tend to do today. And Jesus tells us that we can't do that. You know, what good is it if we only greet those who greet us? What good is it if we only love those who love us? And so today in our country, we, we don't have much of a dialogue. And I think it's our job as Christians to open that dialogue, to reopen the dialogue, and try to talk to people. And it's not going to work every time, obviously. There's going to be people who are just adamant in their position and won't even talk about things. But I think we need to share the love of God with the bad and with the good, with the just and with the unjust. So instead of what we typically like to do is if we see something, especially on social media, which is really a problem today, if we see something we disagree with, we like to unfollow or unfriend. That goes completely against today's gospel. Again, if we only friend those who friend us or follow those who follow us, what good is it? We have to be there to love everybody. And it's difficult to do, but now's a great time to do it, right in the middle of Lent. So for the rest of today and maybe for the rest of Lent, let's try to love our enemies. They're not really our enemies. They're the children of God. They're people who we're called to love. And let's stop on following. Let's stop on friending. Let's try to get in real dialogue uh, because that's what our country needs right now. And that's what the gospel's telling us to do, to love as God loves, to be perfect as he is perfect, to give that love to everybody. Whether we agree with them or not, we can still love them. They're made in the image and likeness of God, as are we. May God bless you. Have a great day. This is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary. See ya.